Good afternoon traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis and this is our uh, webinar um, about uh, the current situation on the markets, uh, daily analytical report, we will analyze uh, major instruments on the market and we will try to look for proper uh, trading uh, setups. Let's start with the micro calendar because we just got retail sales. Well, half an hour ago, retail sales uh, from UK and the data was very bad, very, very bad. And that caused a huge drop on uh, the British pound. I'm having a position on British pound, so I'm happy that um, about the outcome of this. Um, also, overnight, and we're going to show you data from today. Overnight, we had data from Australia, and data from Australia came much better than expectations. And that caused a upswing uh, here. But the thing is that it was um, it was uh, denied. It was wiped out very very fast. And actually, this buy signal on Australian dollar was created, but got cancelled very very. Uh, in a very early stage which creates a, a good a trading opportunity to go against the Australian dollar and uh, one of the best setups with that is Euro to Australian dollar which I will analyze when I will go with uh, technical uh, stuff still to come today we don't have any important data left initial jobless claims as always uh, but that's it. So retail sales actually and uh, job data, uh, employment data from Australia were uh, the most important uh, ones. And uh, as for tomorrow, obviously data from Canada, retail sales and inflation. So I do have a position on British pound to Canadian dollar. Uh, so data from uh, UK was uh, worse uh, hopefully data from Canada will be better and that will fully support from both sides my short position on British pound Canadian dollar but I'm not bothered about this data because uh, position is already on stop profit it's not even on break even so I'm already protecting small profits but still better to have small. Nobody went bankrupt by taking small small profits. Uh, as you can see uh, here, this is my sell order, uh, short position and stop profit is above daily highs. Because I think if they will recover from those lows and they will make daily highs, that will be an invitation to go long at least to here. So. Uh, I will be out of the position. Maybe I will reopen my position here once the price will create a reversal pattern here. Why not? We'll see. That's that's one of the trading ideas, right? The broken support is being tested as a resistance. Maybe that will happen. Maybe not. So at least I will take like 100 euros. Let me check how much. 120 euros. We'll see. Uh, but let's start the technical part of this daily analytical report so on Swiss franc to Japanese yen. Uh, the price is struggling, uh, but they are doing their best to break the horizontal resistance there. Uh, here, mm, that's also the upper line of the wedge. Uh, breakout of this area, which is very, very probable because sellers are fighting but as you can see first bounce okay second one is very flat so there is a, a big buying pressure here bullish pressure and eventually i think this um, resistance should be broken and the price should aim uh, higher and that uh, that can uh, give us a boost towards the highs from 2018 and 2017 as you can see here so coming back above the red line will be a buy signal towards 180 60, uh, 1860 let's say next one is American dollar to Swiss franc actually 
I hate uh, the movements in the recent three days. Luckily, I'm not taking part in that. Um, well, I had a position on Australian dollar to Japanese yen, and I will show you that. I closed that with uh, with my um, instant execution after opening, and I will show you. That will be a great trading lesson, and I will show you that sometimes you have to trust your guts. Um, intuition because m many traders say that you have to open a position and don't do anything with that just set stop loss and take profit yes in uh, at some point it's very true but sometimes you need to trust th uh, the feeling inside of you trust your guts trust your intuition and when uh, you open a, a position and something's wrong and you feel it I just can close your position and uh, escape from it. That's what I did on Australian dollar to Japanese yen, and that was a great call, but I will show that a bit later. On American dollar to Swiss franc, look, there is a strong sell signal because the daily chart bounces like that, shooting star. Then it goes lower, and then the price creates another, like a hammer, even better because uh, the price pushes higher, higher, higher. Then there is a shooting star again. And then we are going back uh, up again. Uh, after this shooting star, the price should decline. After this hammer, the price should break this orange support. After this shooting star, the price should decline. But it's the price is doing totally opposite. Everything is opposite. So break out of those two supports should give us a further decline. It didn't come back above those resistances should give us a further upswing it didn't so everything is going opposite so i'm not gonna take part in it nah, because trading is uh, not about fighting with the market but flowing with the market and um, uh, current price action situation especially on american dollar to swiss franc is not good for my system uh, because we have rapid violent changes uh, we have initiation of the movement and then uh, cancelling and goes on and on. Uh, one of the best technical situations is on um, American dollar to Japanese yen, where we broke this long term uh, triangle, uh, upper line of the triangle, and that triggered as a nice buy signal along with the breakout of this horizontal resistance, right? And after this, the price creates, and there is a breakout price creates pennant, upswing, wedge, upswing, and that is beautiful. That is one of the most technical setups uh, that I uh, have uh, seen recently. Uh, it's a pity I'm not taking part in it. I should have opened my long position here, here, or even uh, here in the morning. Uh, but I didn't. I was thinking about opening long position on uh, American dollar to Japanese yen uh, here, but there is a shooting star, so I was expecting like a small correction, and then I would open my position here. But the price is pushing up higher now, uh, so but that would be good if I could open my position here, stop loss here, uh, because opening here uh, gives me. Uh, Aggressive stop loss here, 24 pips, safe stop loss here, 40, let's say 40 pips, and then take profit is here. So you open your position here, stop loss even safe options, 40 pips, and then you can earn 160, which is pretty good in terms of the re risk to reward ratio. Why the resistance is, is there because of this line? And the chances that we'll get to this line are pretty high. It's, I think it's almost, you cannot be certain of anything on the market, but the chances that we'll get there are pretty, pretty high. And I think that would be a nice bet. But again, I could open here, uh, but I'm a bit greedy, so I would prefer to open here. American dollar to a euro to American dollar. Maybe if not American dollar to Japanese yen, maybe I will open a short position here uh, just for you to see better because mm, 
okay actually you know you need to adjust to the current situation so those lows were um, were beaten and what's going on here there is a symmetric triangle pattern there is a head and shoulder pattern and we broke the neckline we broke the lower line of this triangle so the price should go lower the thing is that we're having a triple bottom formation so a breakout of this line will give us a sell signal at least to this horizontal support mm, so uh, like depending from the option like you have a small congestion here right so uh, going short here stop loss is here at 23 uh, pips and take profit is here so risk to reward 3 to 1 that's the risk worth taking in terms of the euro dollar and the thing is that when looking on a daily chart that can be just the beginning because that's a left shoulder that's a head and that's a right shoulder and breakout of the uh, of this blue line can be lethal and once you will open such a, a big position because the stop loss will be small so even respecting the um, the money management this position will be small but you will be able to catch a right like this these are the trades that uh, make you that can give you profits for three months of trading so i'm gonna keep my eye on it think that breakout of the orange line that will be a risk worth taking uh, this kind of a trade still the daily candle is small you can see that euro dollar can do much better here 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 that will be also a, a denial of this hammer this hammer and also price getting there that will be a descending triangle pattern promoting a further and drop so i think that it's a good selling opportunity and uh, i will try to catch it i will try to ride this uh, wave i'm afraid of pending orders i don't like pending orders um, but in this case it is a risk worth taking in my opinion so pending order here stop loss there's 17 pips so we go like 20 22 and then you try to ride this bad boy euro to australian dollar here you can see this false breakout so oh many traders were waiting for the breakout here since the end of june head and shoulder pattern the shoulder pattern again rectangle and there was this breakout after the data boom but then a reversal and the similar thing happened on Aus australian dollar to japanese yen which i will show you later when you have a drop like that the correction should be small and boom but when the correction is rapid we might get a v pattern and this what happened here we got a v pattern and the price just went mad because once the price climbed back above this horizontal resistance uh, traders knew it's a false breakout so they abandoned their position so that's a false breakout most probably the price will test this horizontal resistance this trade is not for me because where should i place my stop loss order if i open here stop loss may be here it's uh, 80 pips take profit 90 pips 100 risk to reward ratio is bad here so i'm not gonna open this position oil wti oil uh, doji then a, a little better hammer on a horizontal support but now the price is going lower again so that should result with an upswing triple bottom formation as well one two three a broken resistance but th now the price is pushing lower again which may result with a further breakout silver silver continues the drop and i'm 
proper jealous that I'm not taking part in it, especially that I told you after the shooting start that there is a nice selling opportunity and you can check it on our recordings. But I didn't open this position because I was uh, seeing possible reversal on gold, which didn't happen. And I was afraid that silver will follow gold, but um, silver was giving better si uh, was giving better signs. And uh, well, that's a pretty bad for the holders of precious metals. Uh, gold is also gold is on the yearly lows as you can see I mean last important support horizontal one once this support will be broken they should aim for those lows but that will be very very dangerous so the situation on gold is not is, uh, is uh, pretty pretty bad they did not manage to break this important horizontal resistance and now they are paying the price for it Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar also I was thinking about opening a short position here because the price had a false breakout above this horizontal resistance and I was thinking about that somewhere here right and it was quite good okay but then boom the data and then reversal so uh, many traders got caught in a <coughs> stop loss order, but now what I'm seeing here is a pennant, is a symmetric triangle. So a breakout of the lower line will be a sell, breakout of the upper line will be a buy. From the risk to reward ratio, it would be better to see. Let me sh check the resistance. So this is the resistance from the risk to reward ratio it would be better we have uh, 300 pips for the upswing and 280 pips for the downswing so from the risk to reward ratio it would be better for the price to break the upper line of this formation now but the uh, cable uh, false breakout, breakout of the uh, down tr uptrend line. Here, drop, correction, drop. So now, uh, the, that's the reaction on the data. Boom. That's a legitimate downtrend, and uh, we should see the continuation of it. New Zealand dollar to American dollar. Here, you can get a very nice uh, sell signal so I'm thinking either here or here because here it can be a proper uh, long-term trading opportunity so you can see that we are very close to trigger sell signal which can most probably be the bearish angle thing as well yes it can be the bearish angle thing maybe not the classical one but here and it can result with a strong strong drop because the horizontal support was broken it can result like boom with a strong downswing and yes that's well we're getting an activation of the signal as we speak the price maybe uh, not to confuse you with this line so that's a symmetric triangle we are breaking the lower line of this triangle there is a fault breakout so the price should continue to go down. Mm -hmm, euro dollar. Tempting. Very, very tempting. Uh, British pound to Canadian dollar. So this is my position. Uh, there was a breakout from the symmetric triangle. Drop, correction. So I opened here. Stop loss was here. Now the price dropped. Uh, I placed my stop loss here. Drop, stop loss here. Now this reaction got a bit cancelled here uh, and on a daily chart the price is trying to create a hammer. If they will manage to create a hammer that would be time to escape from this position. I could have keep my position on uh, stop loss on break even a point but once they're gonna beat the daily highs I think they can go even higher and higher and higher. 
So I'm gonna capture profits and then wait for the sell signal on the horizontal resistance. But lucky, hopefully, but there there should be no hope in trading. Hopefully, uh, I will survive till tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll get a be better data from the Can uh, from Canada. But also, fair enough, price will come back. I will look for a selling opportunity here on this resistance, and then boom. Australian dollar to Japanese yen. Look at those movements. This is mad. You see. Shooting stars, hammer, shooting star. No, 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 you cannot, you cannot be in the position like that. So, head and shoulder, break out of the horizontal support. I sold here. The price went down straight away, boom. But then the price created a hammer and then went up. And this hammer was pretty strong on H1. This kind of hammer shows you V-shape re reversal. So I was looking at this and I was like, no, 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 I need to close my position. And I closed my position on break even. And here was the original stop loss. So that was a big position because the stop loss was small. And the potential profit was huge, absolutely huge, like this support here. But it didn't work out. I closed my position and it was a great uh, decision because two uh, two hours later I would have an uh, original stop loss. Then the price cancels the sell signal and then creates a buy signal because they broke the horizontal resistance. Then cancels it and creates a sell signal again. This kind of like a strong reaction and then Im immediate cancelling. I hate this type of movement. So luckily, I didn't pay for this and. Um, the fact that I, I didn't lose like 1% of my capital makes me, I have a feeling that I won 1%. So this is the situation on this instrument, which is pretty, was technical, but lost the importance for me. Most probably a breakout of the blue line will give us a buy signal, a sell signal. Uh, but maybe we'll get a bounce and then further upswing, we'll see. It's uncertain, so I'm I'm not uh, playing part in it. Another American dollar to Canadian dollar, also very very stupid situation. So inverse head and shoulder formation, Le left shoulder, head and right shoulder, break out of the neckline. That gives you a buy signal, and I wanted to trade that, right? So I uh, saw this, and I wanted to wait for the comeback here. But the comeback was much stronger than expectations, so luckily I wasn't in front of the computer because I would open my long position here, stop loss here, and I would, would get a full stop loss. Then the price reverses and then go, comes back again. So they tot, uh, totally ignore this inverse and show deformation. They totally ignore this horizontal resistance, which is no longer relevant, and this is what is left. Downswing up, upswing, downswing, upswing. No, 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 no. I don't want to be in a situations like that. I want clear movements, not pullbacks and comebacks. This is pullbacks and comebacks are is the place where traders are losing money. This is not the place where you earn money. It's the place where you lose money. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, inverse head and shoulder formation, upswing, most probably will have a small correction, but the sentiment is positive as long as we stay above the, let's change the color, not to have two red lines, above the orange area, so price staying above the orange area is a proper, proper buy uh, on Bitcoin. And British pound to Japanese yen. That is a good one. So break out of the horizontal support. Is that a formation? Not really. I wouldn't say it's kind of a double top formation, but not head and shoulders or anything. We don't have a right shoulder. And a break out. I see we came back below this line. Tested that as a resistance and we should see a further downswing. So British pound to, to, to Japanese yen looks, uh, looks okay for for SL uh, here, but hopefully my position will work out better. In terms of the strength of the signal, 
I would say that the buy here, and I sell here definitely. Uh, buy here is nice, but the, the risk to reward ratio is broken. It's not uh, interesting. Sell here, even in front. And Bitcoin has quite interesting situation. So, to be honest with you, I'm gonna now, um, during this break, I'm gonna think about short position on Euro dollar and we will see. Or maybe New Zealand dollar to American dollar. For this, all I need to do to estimate if I should open this or this is to check the pair of Euro to New Zealand dollar. So, because I want to short Euro and I want to short New Zealand dollar. So it's better to short the weaker currency. And in this case, weaker currency is New Zealand dollar. Euro is getting stronger here. So it would be better to short New Zealand dollar here than Euro. And if I want to short New Zealand dollar, the time for that is now. But I don't want to open short position on daily lows. Oh, I so don't want to open a uh, short position on daily low, so I would prefer a pullback. Uh, but from the technical point of view, yes, uh, Euro should be stronger. There is an uptrend here, uh, that's a flag. Flag should result with a breakout of the upper line and a further upswing. So the situation on the Euro to New Zealand dollar is bullish. So yes, mm. I know the price can go even lower and lower and lower, but opening short position on uh, daily loss is not the best idea that can happen. So maybe I'll wait or place a sell stop order here. Here, 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 below those lows. Because also look, the downswing, bounce, the downswing, bounce. That's a proper uh, bounce. But this is not a bounce. That's just uh, traders are waiting for this breakout. They buyers have no power. They cannot push the price higher. They are just waiting for boom drop. Hopefully British pound to Canadian dollar will survive. I can see now that buyers are trying to cancel this drop. But hopefully again there, there should be no hope in trading but traders who sold here will open new positions. Boom and drive the price lower. We will see. I should not care about this position because it's already protected with profit. Thank you very much for attending uh, daily analytical report. I hope you enjoyed that and see you in a bit. We'll have a webinar about uh, trading psychology. So the mental aspect of uh, making money on the markets. Thanks very much and see you in a bit.